Now this is definitely a project that you want to do outside because if you go dragging this critter in your house, you're probably going to end up divorced. Now what we want to do with our groundhog here, we're going to be using Outdoor Edge's flipping blaze and we want to make some basic incisions in the hide. And what we're going to do is just cut straight down the spine from the base of the head down to the tail. Then we're going to cut right around the circumference of the groundhog. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a hold of that hide and we're gonna pull that back just like pulling a shirt over your head. Then when we get down to the legs, we get right down to the wrist there, we'll take the game shears from the game processor set and we'll cut those legs off. So the first thing we wanna do is just, we'll take the drop point skinner here and we're gonna make an incision right in the center of the back of our groundhog. All right, now we've taken our groundhog out of the refrigerator. We've been soaking it in salt water for about three days now, and he is a fat bugger. He's been eating really good. We're gonna take our time, trim all this fat off the outside, and then we'll be ready to apply our high mountain seasoning. All right, now that we've applied our garlic pepper rub, we're gonna use one can of sauerkraut and one can of sliced pineapple. And trust me, I know this seems a little bit odd, but this is gonna make a dish that you will not believe. This is fantastic. Now I've already drained all the juice off of my sauerkraut, so I'm just gonna put this right across the top of all of my groundhog meat here. We're gonna spread it right around on there. You can see that's looking mighty tasty already. Now to give it a good smoke flavor, we're gonna take some sliced bacon and put it right over top of our sauerkraut. All right, now we've topped it off with our pineapple slices and don't be turning your nose up at me. That is a tasty looking dish and I don't care who you are, that looks good. Now we could do this two different ways. We could actually take this dish and put it right into our LOH can cooker and we could slow cook it on the oven or any low heat source. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this with foil now. We're gonna take it out, put it in the Bradley smoker and we're gonna put a couple holes in the top of the foil just to make sure we let that good hickory smoke flavor penetrate into this groundhog and about five hours at 280 degrees, it'll be falling off the bone. Fresh groundhog right out of the Bradley smoker. Now take a look at that. Tell me that does not look delicious. <laughs> now that is delicious and don't be turning your nose up to me until you've tried groundhog in the can cooker or in the Bradley smoker. I mean that is delicious.